Welcome to the 2019 UC Santa Barbara Pre-College Research Programs webinar. The Office of Summer Sessions at UCSB offers two unique summer research programs, the Research Mentorship Program and the Science and Engineering Research Academy. Throughout this webinar, we will use the program acronyms RMP and SARA. My name is Katie Anderson and I'm here with Sean Kerr. Together, we serve as the Student Advisors for the Office of Summer Sessions. Today, our objective is to provide you with an overview of the two programs, the steps to admission, and the benefits and opportunities of each program. As Katie mentioned, UCSB Summer Sessions offers two pre-college research programs that, that provide students with a unique opportunity to earn college credit and university-level research experience while in high school. These programs are designed to help shape students' academic, professional, personal, and social development. Our programs will challenge high school students by exposing them to the academic excellence of UCSB while acclimating to the university's social environment. SARA is a four-week summer program that introduces qualified high school students to the research enterprise through project-based directed research in STEM-related fields. Students will take a four-unit university course where they choose and develop a research topic specific to the research track that they select under the direction of an instructor who is conducting active research in that field. RMP is a competitive six-week summer program that engages qualified, high-achieving high school students from all over the world in interdisciplinary, hands-on, university-level research. Students will be paired up with a mentor, who is usually a graduate student, postdoc scholar, or faculty member, and choose a research project from a large list of disciplines offered by the program each year. This year, for Sarah, students have the option to choose a research track within computer science, marine biology, evolutionary biology, global studies, and media arts and technology. Within the online application, students will be able to select two research tracks that they are most interested in pursuing. Students will be admitted to one of the research tracks they selected within the online application. Students will earn four UC credits by taking an Introduction to Research in STEM Fields course, which entails lectures, labs, and discussion sections. Students will participate in the GRIT Talks lecture series, attend workshops, and participate in social activities. By the end of the program, students will successfully write a technical research paper and present their research to the public during our formal capstone seminar. SARA takes place from June 30th to July 27th, and students must attend the entire program. Students often ask if it would be okay if they arrive late or leave early. However, this is not allowed because a single day of absence can negatively impact a student's progress in the research experience due to the high level intensity and rigor implemented in the program. SARA is eligible to students in grades 9 through 11, and students must have a minimum GPA of 3.6 according to UC A through G requirements. Students are required to submit an online application that includes a personal statement explaining why they want to participate in SARA, the reason for choosing the particular research track or tracks, and something unique about them that they would like the admissions committee to know. Additionally, within the online application, students will provide the name and email address of one recommender. Once the student provides this information, our application system will issue an email to the recommender with our online recommendation form. We do not accept formal letters of recommendation, and we recommend that students select an individual that can best attest their academic and psychological maturity. Lastly, students will need to have their school submit an official transcript directly to our office via email or standard mail. These transcripts must include the student's final fall 2018 grades, and for ninth grade applicants, students must also submit their eighth grade report card in addition to their first semester transcript for ninth grade. Students have the option to live in the on-campus residential halls or commute to campus daily. Students that live on campus will live in the Santa Cruz Residential Hall with other high school students attending our pre-college programs. Scholarships are available and are determined by financial need and the availability of funds. However, priority is given to California residents. Lastly, SARA practices rolling admissions. So the sooner the student applies, the more likely they are to be admitted to the program. RMP introduces students to the concept of interdisciplinary research, allowing students to select a project from a wide list of academic disciplines. Projects span across the STEM fields, the humanities, and the social sciences, and each project pairs a student with a faculty or graduate student mentor. Prospective students often ask about the mechanics of project selections, so I will provide a brief overview of this process. Students are presented with all of the projects during the first two days of the program. 
After hearing verbal elevator pitches from the mentors and reviewing a project handbook, a student will select five projects of interest. A committee will then match each student with one of the listed projects and the respective mentor. A student will not know their project prior to attending the program. During the research presentations, students will learn the details of the project and their level of involvement in the particular project. The presentations guide the students to select five appropriate projects based on their interests. It is beneficial for a student to be open-minded to different areas of research. It is also important to know that the RMP application requires students to select research topics of interest. This will not determine the project for the student, but rather allows our office to gauge student interest for mentor recruitment. Students in RMP earn eight UC credits and can request an official UCSB transcript. Additionally, throughout the six weeks, students develop technical writing skills and deliver effective presentations and elevator pitches. This year, RMP takes place from June 23rd through August 3rd. Let's talk a little bit about the program eligibility and application requirements. The application process is similar to SARA, but there are a few differences and additional requirements. The program is open to high achieving and academically mature students currently in the 10th or 11th grade who have a minimum of a 3.8 weighted GPA according to the UC A through G requirements. To reinforce what Sean stated earlier, students must attend the program in its entirety. Missing even one day can hinder the student's ability to succeed in the program. Students will complete an online application located on our website and will be required to submit the following documents a personal statement, a writing sample from the current academic year, two recommendations, an official transcript which includes fall 2018 grades, and official AP test scores if applicable. It is important to mention that the writing sample should be no more than three pages and we recommend that students submit a sample that reflects their best academic writing. For example, a student may feel inclined to submit a lab report but an essay from a history or an American literature course may serve as a better indicator of the student's writing abilities. Finally, similar to Sarah, admission decisions are on a rolling basis. A student can choose from a commuter or a residential option and scholarships are available. Now we are gonna briefly walk you through our online application. So when students want to apply, they'll need to go to our website, which is summer.ucsb.edu. We'll then navigate to the Research Mentorship Program page or the Science and Engineering Research Academy page. Once on the program that they would like to apply it to, they'll find the link uh, towards the, right above the videos where it says to apply, click here. Once they click that button, they'll be taken to a website where they need to sign up and create a username and password. Once they've done so, they'll be presented with a screen like this, which is where they'll go to start a new application to our programs. Once they start a new application to our programs, they'll need to select the portion where it says non-UC students and high school students. They will then start the application and be asked four different questions that will navigate them to the correct application. For the purpose of today, we are going to say that I am currently a United States citizen and attending a U.S. high school or university. We are going to be applying to the research mentorship program. I am a high school student and this is for summer 2019. Then you will start the application. Once you're within the online application, you'll be presented with various different questions that you need to respond to so that we have more information on the student. So they'll be presented with a section where they provide their student profile, if they've ever attended UCSB for instance, their personal information, their name, gender, birthplace, country of permanent residence, and then the social security number. If you do not have a social security number or do not feel comfortable entering it in the online application, please enter all zeros. As they continue on, they'll be asked to provide their address information, their parent information, and then they will be responsible for answering questions regarding their enrollment history. This is where they'll be able to list a school name for where the high school uh, transcript will be coming from. For the purpose of today, we're going to say San Marcos High School in Texas. You'll be have an option to add that you're submitting additional transcripts. Usually those are from different universities or summer programs that you've attended in the past. Uh, they'll then have to give some additional enrollment information where they tell us their grade, the AP courses they've completed, and they can upload their AP exam scores. We also, also ask for health insurance coverage. If they do not have that, they, can, they don't need to upload that into the online application. They also need to select if they're a commuter or residential student. Commuter students technically usually live in the Santa Barbara area with family members and commute to campus daily where the residential students will live on campus in our residential halls. 
Then comes the recommenders. This is really important that the student provides the correct email address and name of the recommenders. Once student provides this information for both of their recommenders and click continue, our system will automatically issue an email to that recommender with our online recommendation form. Then they will need to provide their research preferences. As Katie stated, this is just to give us an idea of what the student is interested. This does not guarantee that the student will have any of these options that they selected. They will then need to upload their personal statement. Next is the writing sample, and as Katie said, we're only looking at three pages of the writing sample, and please do not include a bunch of graphs or tables. Then they will just need to confirm that they're applying to the program. Once they get through this step and review their application, they will be able to submit and pay the application fee. It is very important that the students notice that there's one more step after you pay that you need to provide your electronic signature and officially submit your application. Once they have done so, they will just need to turn in their supporting documents such as the transcript and letters of recommendation from their teacher. Now we are going to go back to the presentation and Katie will continue on from there. You may have students that do not know which program is the right option for them, so I am going to provide a breakdown of RNP and SARA, which may help a student solidify their decision. The program length is the first major difference, with SARA being a four-week program compared to the six-week program for RMP. A student's GPA may also play a factor in the decision, with a 3.6 minimum GPA for SARA and a 3.8 minimum GPA for RMP. Additionally, SARA provides a student with four units of university credit, whereas RMP provides a student with eight units of university credit. Finally, research experience is not required for SARA, but for RMP, applicants often have introductory, but sometimes even advanced research experience. SARA and RMP each offer a different program format. For SARA, students select a particular research track, participate in a classroom setting four times a week, along with a weekly discussion, and attend a lab section twice a week. SARA focuses on students working in a group setting producing a 10-page research report, and delivering a 15-minute group presentation. Conversely, RMP allows a student to select a research project within the STEM, humanities, and social sciences disciplines, participate in a classroom environment two times per week with one discussion section, and conduct research in the lab, the field, or the library. RMP focuses on each student producing individual work, in which a student writes a four-page technical research paper creates an academic research poster, and delivers a 10-minute presentation. I want to emphasize a few points of pride for the pre-college research programs. The research is guided by expert mentors and instructors who are leaders in their fields. Both RMP and SARA allow students to jumpstart their higher education career by earning UC credit. Additionally, students learn valuable communication skills such as technical writing, effective presentations, and elevator pitches. Our unique lecture series featuring groundbreaking research and innovative technology, commonly referred to as GRIT Talks, directly connects students to some of the best minds within the UCSB research community. Finally, students continue to receive support post-program. Students receive letters of recommendations from mentors and the director of the programs, as well as the opportunity to connect to a large network of program alumni. As you can see, applications are currently open for both programs. Applications must be submitted by March 15th for RMP and April 15th for SARA. RMP accepts 75 students and SARA admits 28 students per research track. I want to briefly bring your attention to our online help center where students can find the answers to commonly asked questions regarding the pre-college research programs. And when you go to our website, it'll be under student services and you'll see the help center option. And this takes you to our different research programs that you can find information about, so the most commonly asked questions you can find in this section under pre-college. For any additional inquiries, please feel free to use the email addresses or phone number listed here, and we want to thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to welcoming your students to UCSB for a unique research experience.